digital forensics tools to bear on born digital materials. And the, uh, the power of digital forensics tools is their ability to hold on to all of these minute, minute data that allow us to, uh, if we don't have the prescience to understand what it is that we might not know in the future, at least we have everything so that we can go back and recover it. Okay, so let me shift then and talk more about BitCurator. So like I said, the BitCurator project, we've been at it about uh, two and a half years now, and it's an attempt to bring open source digital forensics tools to collecting institutions, libraries, museums, archives. And what Matt had found along with Callie, the other co-PI of the BitCurator project, and if you followed Matt's work through mechanisms uh, and some of the, uh, the other work that he's done, you know that Matt is very interested in the, the, um, the material, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, fixity of our digital world that we think is so ephemeral, but in fact has its, it is imprinted in very uh, physical, robust ways in, in the digital medium that I've been talking about. And so he and Kali decided to bring, to take these digital forensics tools, and which are very opaque, which are, uh, re require a great deal of expertise to use, and to, to build a system where uh, a, a standard archivist who may or may not have some sort of expertise in digital forensics or digital training can use these tools to create um, reports uh, and capture metadata about the digital work that they want to preserve. So like I said, there are existing tools that are out there, but they, the 